Mike Schmitz of ESPN. We're here with Josh Christopher, uh, ASU guard. We're out here working out in LA, um, looking really good, you know, looking explosive, uh, shooting the ball really well. Uh, Josh, appreciate you taking the time, man. Thank you for having me. So what has the pre-draft process been like for you so far? Um, I guess, how long have you been, you know, working out out here and kind of what's the day-to-day -day been like? Yeah, so we moved, we're on week six here. So, yep. I mean, just being at Woodland Hills, being back home, came from straight from ASU and put in work, uh, even before we moved into Woodland Hills. I'm just trying to work on shooting the ball, getting that jumper right, uh, fixing my mechanics for the most part. You know, I know how to shoot, just fix the mechanics, that three ball's going back further now, so everything has to be much sharper. Uh, tighten up that handle. It's a lot of pick and roll nowadays. Uh, watching the playoffs now, the mid-range is coming back, so yep. that's part of my game, so perfecting that even more. Uh, getting my body right, I had an injury towards the end of the year, so to be able to be 100% symmetrical with my hips, my back, I just feel good and look good. So I think one of the best parts of your game is just how you attack and transition. Has that always been where you shine the most? Yeah, man, get out and go. Yeah. <laughs> get out and go, for sure. It's, um, most of the game, the NBA game, is transition. The yep. game slows down more in the playoffs, yep. of course. But for the most part, man, NBA, is, they're getting up and down and pushing. So, I mean, just working on that. I'm a big guy. I think I can move pretty well, too. So go. Yeah, just go. get it and go. <laughs> go. So what do you see on this uh, possession in particular here? Okay, so against Arizona, I mean, yeah. this shows kind of the whole package here, but take me through this play. Go. So if we're on a fast break, uh, me being like an aggressive ball player and a scorer, when I get mm -hmm. the ball, I'm pushing it. You know, nobody's asking for it, so you go ahead and push the ball, Josh. Uh, but yeah, uh, Holland Woods is in the corner, but me being as confident as I am, I see a man in front of me, hit him with one move. And uh, man, just using my skill and then just finish at the rim. I feel like I saw Coloco behind me, uh -huh. so I switched to the left hand. I don't know. Maybe, I think, yeah, I don't know. The Coloco was right there, so just finish at the rim. Yeah, so that might have been a chase down if you didn't, right? Yeah, 100, you think? 100%. 100%. Yeah. Where does your balance come from? Because you're someone who can play like really low to the ground, almost like a football player, and then change direction, change speed. Where, where do you get that from? Just working on my body. Uh, this, these last couple of years, me, my dad, my brother, and Jamal Rashad, we've been working so hard and like just making sure my body's in tip top shape since the end of my sophomore year. I used to roll my ankles a lot. Okay. So it was just time. I'm not affected when I'm not on the court. So to, to be able to do the whole stability, mobility, and just getting stronger, I think that's where that comes then, from. This next one here as well, just to show, um, again, like really dynamic in the open court. And now I think making the open read, right? So w what do you see on this play? Just pushing it. I know I was aggressive this whole game, mm -hmm. uh, getting into the cup through transition. So you see the defense collapse, boom, Holland's right there, knocked down. Yeah, basic read, easy kick out, right? Um, but playing that style of basketball, I think, you know, is, is huge for you. Um, do you feel like you're an underrated passer? Yeah, it's been, considering in high school, I went to a public school, uh, I had a lot of good teammates, but you know the ball was in my hand for the most part. So it was up to me to make plays for my teammates, getting guys open, um, telling my guys go set them a screen, and having them pull down. Just kind of being a floor general, I've yeah, been a floor general all my life. So that's the transition piece, right? And we know you can get up and down. We know you can make plays. Um, but in the half court, you said it before. I mean, three level scorer, right? That's that's kind of the way that you impact the game in terms of getting buckets. Um, take me through this move here against Villanova uh, and, and your ability to create space. Yeah, uh, man, just having confidence. Uh, man, just knowing knowing how to score that basketball. Uh, nice one move, rhythm, yeah. pull up. So you come off the handoff, you kind of see that he's sagging off a little bit and yeah. just pull back into it? Exactly, mismatch and just knock it down. Yeah, great touch, great balance. And you mentioned the mid-range game too. You know, I know that's a big part of your game, right? And watching the playoffs, all these teams playing out of drops, they want to give up those mid-range pull-ups, right? Exactly. Um, so you feel like that's somewhere you can be really effective? Oh, yeah, I know the NBA tried to, uh, not necessarily tried to, but you know, when you have guys like Stephen Curry who can yeah. shoot the ball successfully as he do, we're all going to follow suit. But uh, to see guys like Chris Paul and D. Book yep. with the Suns making that push yep. in that mid-range, it kind of uh, shines light on that mid-range once again. Yeah, you're really good with your ability to kind of stop on a dime here, create space a little bit. Uh, take me through this play against UCLA. So they use you as a screener? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this was just the um, yeah a little slip screen from me. Yeah. Get the ball. A couple of plays we ran from me, and uh, this is a move that I just been working on. This is honestly a move that I took from Michael Jordan, just watching basketball. Yeah. The one dribble, a stop between the legs, and then I've been working on that little punch dribble with my trainer Julius for a long time. So that's just a 
just work. The work that we put in behind the scenes, we bring it to the court as well. Yeah, so that same foot, kind of same hand, punch mm -hmm. dribble, like you said. Exactly. Julius V? Yes, sir. The great Julius V. <laughs> Shout out to Julius Shout V. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, creating space, stopping on a dime, and then that low center of gravity, your strong base, you know, really good getting to those mid range pull ups. And then the last piece of it, too, getting downhill to the rim, right? Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of the flow game on, on this yeah. one against Villanova. Yeah. Take, take me through this fight. Man, just working. Uh. <laughs> Just, you know, get him on the eye. I was really feeling it this game. At this point uh -huh. at this point in the game, it, it, I felt like I could do what I wanted, mm -hmm. uh, to be honest. Of course, the scoreboard wasn't where we needed to be, but individually, I felt like I could, I was able to, you know, get where I needed to be, use my body. Uh, once you get in that paint, drop the ball low, and then rise back up, you know, that low center of gravity, and just rise up, float a good touch. Yeah, and I think because you're a threat, you know, he's pulling up from here, right? He's got to hug up on you a little bit. Yeah. You can get the step. You dodge that that dig man pretty well, right? You're really good at like sweeping the ball through. That's that's kind of hard and ask. Yes, sir. Yeah, big part of your game, and you're really good at drawing fouls as well. Um, so that kind of shows the the three level scoring there, right? Um, curious what you remember about this play here, okay? So you're gonna come off the handoff on this next one against Stanford. Um, what do you see on this play here? So come off the handoff. Oh yeah, this was around the time where I really started to get my confidence back in my jumper. So okay. It was, it was a time where I was like, okay, if I shoot this, it's gonna go in. Yeah. Right? yeah. So uh, having to humble myself a little bit, this is almost taking me back to high school where I used to try to sell fouls a lot uh -huh. rather than just shooting it and letting it go. So I feel like the shot could have had a better chance to go in if I would have just stuck the landing. Gotcha. So a lot of times, like, is this normally like, could you come off of twenty four into a ball screen or no? What what is the normal goal for you guys out of this action? Yeah, so he's definitely supposed to come set that screen. Okay. Um, you know, I could I could be way more aggressive uh, uh -huh. in, in coming off of this hundred percent, but I think me stopping right here with the sweep through, bringing it through, uh, definitely insinuates that I'm going for isolation, so he'll move out the way. Got you. So the other piece that you've been working on a ton, I know, is, is your catch and shoot, mm -hmm. right? Um, I guess when you're shooting the ball really well, like mechanically, what are some of the things that you're doing? Uh, so before I made an adjustment, all my life I've just been a confident shooter. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that, that, that high school three is extremely close. Yep. So you can shoot it almost however you want. You know, you have guys like Lonzo in high school who are shooting it over here. Yeah. And mine was on that left hip as well. So uh -huh. as that NBA three gets back, you have to be much more efficient in how you shoot it. So being able to get that ball on that right side or more in the middle uh, has helped me. And just finishing the same, same touch. My brother Caleb told me you need to find a way how you're going to shoot the ball every single time. So just fixing the follow through and getting on that right hip. And it's been a, a pretty simple adjustment. Yeah, you can see it today. I mean, sure. you had some stretches where, you know, you looked really, really good from three. And so you're, you're kind of gaining that confidence. You feel great from yeah. the NBA line. 100%. Yeah, and you, and you can see it in, in the work you put in. So all right, I want to go through kind of the progress you made throughout the course of the year too, right? So this is earlier in the year, Rhode Island, on the road. Um, what do you see here on this clip? Ah, I feel, I, okay, I lean back. See, that's yeah, yeah. another play where I need to just stick the lane and be confident in my shot. And uh, just hold it, just hold it. And that should be knocked out. You can see it went in and out. So little adjustments like that, just sticking the landing, uh, boom, it would have been a knockdown. Yeah, hundred percent, right? I think if you if you stay in that, then that's probably going to drop, right? Yes. But that's a great rhythm shot, good shot preparation. And this next one here against Stanford, I think is picture perfect, right? Yeah. So if you pause it and look at just like your hands and feet are ready, you're anticipating the pass yeah. right on the hop, and you see how you stay in it. Knock down. See, that, see, this was around that time where my shot started falling. And towards the season, uh, as the season went on, uh, I got less shots. And uh -huh. that wasn't the issue, of course. We started winning ball games. Yeah, this is like the prototype right here. You know, I mean, that's perfect. The shot preparation, staying in the shot, the balance. You can see, like, no wasted movement, right? And then you play with it, a little bit of excitement, too. What are you saying to the bench after that? Uh, I don't think I said anything. I just <laughs> felt really good. <laughs> yeah. Just let them know that you're confident, right? Yeah, exactly. No, I love it. And then, so this next clip, I mean, when, when you really shoot it that way, teams start running you off the line, right? And then you can show this explosiveness. Yeah. I mean, what do you remember about this one? I'm, we were getting blown out really badly, and I guess we needed some type of spark, so... Don't give up, just keep on fighting, try to make that play. So I think this was a, a play that kind of got us going and we, we made a push towards the end for sure. Yeah, I mean, you looked really explosive today too. I mean, you, you really like attack these workouts, it seems like you're someone who's like hungry to, to get better. Some guys go kind of half speed, and um, but it seems like you've really attacked this pre-draft process. Yeah, this is, you, only, you only get drafted once. That's yeah. how I look at it. You, only, you know, I didn't come out back home just to, to mess around. I work, 
go to the crib, sleep, rest, yeah. and come back and work the next day. So and that's what I'm gonna be doing for as long as I can play ball, to be honest. Yeah, so now it's about playing off these closeouts as, as a facilitator, right? So here's, okay, again, Stanford, um, what, do, what do you see on this clip? So it's gonna be a swing, swing. You're gonna attack along the baseline there. What do you see as you yeah, beat? Just being overconfident. Once again, uh, I see JG right there, but don't realize they're collapsing. So uh, I think I definitely could have hit Holland Woods in that corner. Um, as he fades down yeah, to the deep 100%, corner? Yeah, 100%. You see Zoe Burge is up top as well. So just being able to look up, keep your eyes up, make the right play. Honestly, I think I knew this was a force right here for sure. Yeah, but I don't knock the confidence, right? right I, yeah, I, it, I like the confidence. Right, yeah, it's it's a it's a doable play. I think maybe on an NBA court, it'll be spaced out yeah. a little more to make that happen. So, uh Nothing's impossible, but yeah, definitely a, uh, an avoidable play for sure. Okay, here's early in the season again against Villanova. You're off the ball. So, all right, so much has made, been made about like, okay, you're really good with the ball in your hands, right? Like, how do you impact the game off the ball? Yeah. Um, and and th these type of plays, I think, are a good example of that. Yeah. I guess, how would you answer that? Like, how, what makes you effective without the ball in your hands? Just move. Uh, when you have uh, point guards, you know, like Holland Woods, who are going to – I mean, penetrate like this, jump in the air and then make the play. I mean, you got to reward him by cutting to the basket. You know, you see he's making a play. It only makes sense to cut. You know, my man is sleeping right here. Mm -hmm. Make the simple play, cut to the basket, get your leg, get your dunk. Was it an adjustment to obviously like, you know, a lot of really gifted ball handlers in, in college, especially on that team, right? Whether it's Remy Martin, Alonzo Verge, yeah. like how much of an adjustment was it? Did it take some time to like kind of find your way within the flow of the offense? Oh yeah, consider we had a uh, we had a, a lot of guys you know, who scored the ball who were who were gifted. Yeah. So you know when you, you know when you got, I mean you know it's a lot of guys that can make plays for themselves on the team, and I think that was the beauty in our team. And then on the offensive glass too, I thought you made some great plays as a rebounder. I think you have the body to be. Like a really good rebounder. Right. Do you feel that way? Yeah, hundred percent. I was my senior year. I mean, high school is much different than college, of course. But my last year, I was the tallest player on my team, so it was games where I was getting fifteen boards. And were I, you really? I had, you were the tallest player? Yeah, hundred percent. I was doing the jump ball every game. No way. My senior year, I promise you. <laughs> you miss those days? <laughs> ah, yeah. Mayfair was fun. You know, I think it's a lot more ahead of us, but y'all definitely cherish those days. Yeah, of course. And, and but just being active off the ball, right? Mixing it up in here. Um, you know, being competitive, like that's that's a great play right there. Yeah. And I think you can fit alongside other good NBA players because of that. Yeah. Um, so, all right, this clip here against Villanova, um, I'm curious. So you're going to come off, right? Um, take me through kind of your goal in this action. So you catch. Just break him down. Uh, I think I I think I think had him um, on the first move right there, crossover. Boom, I could have shot it right there, right? On, on the, the first move? Yeah. So is that what you're talking about when you like your brother would say simplify the simplify game, right? Simplify it. Take the shot. He gave me that right there. I got him on the first move. I could have took it. To be honest, if I was playing uh, now, uh -huh. when I go cross twin, I might bring it back and just shoot that. It's a lot of space in between us. So yeah. Once I, I, would have just, I would bring it back nowadays and just let it fly. Through. Bring it back, let it fly. Yeah. For sure, and I, and I like this next clip, okay, out of a similar action, right? Um, you're gonna come off that screen, and this, I mean, you're really tough just getting downhill to the rim, you know? Um, I know, like, they're defending you different here, right? But just yeah. to show the difference, okay, five, six dribbles, tough pull up here, like, right to the front of the rim, and then taking the contact, too. Yeah. Uh, what do you remember about this? Uh, this was my first basket of the year. This really? Is, this is stuff that, like, my brother Caleb tells me. He'll be like, okay, your first play of the game, go get you a layup. Yeah. You know, ease into it. Don't, yes. You know, so, I mean, I listen to my big brother. Go get you a layup, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is a great example of that, right? And so you can kind of feel him trailing on your, on your hip. Is that yeah, the deal? Yeah, I just had that first little step. I, I saw him on, you know, right there in the corner of my left eye and then just go. You know, I see a lane. Number 10 is in the corner hugging Remy Martin pretty tight. You got to respect Remy Martin, so... Uh, I just had a lane. And you can see the length and athleticism from that big, too. I mean, that's yeah. that's a tough finish, right? Yeah, 100%. It's a big guy. I felt it, 100%. And you had some against, what, Coloco this year, too? Yeah. Some tough finishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a couple. So, yeah, you're not a guy who, who shies away from contact. Um, and then this next clip here, just to show out of another similar action. So, as you come off, I'm curious, like, what you see here. So, this is against Arizona at home. Okay, kind of a screen-the-screener type of action, right? Yeah. Then you come off. W what do you see? Uh, just pull up uh, the defender. I mean, I lost Benedict right here. Yeah, he's trailing. So I mean, you know, the big is right here. There's Kimani Lawrence. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just being aggressive. I think that mid range is 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 my go to. Yep. Uh, and, and just to talk through like the options you would have out of it too, right? Got a quick pocket pass, maybe. Right there to Jalen Graham. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or and it, listen, it's different in the NBA, right? Like right. Yeah. you might have. 
you know, seven footer lob catcher rolling yeah, down yeah, the rim. Yeah. You might have a 40% three point shooter in the corner, you're exactly. gonna make a skip, right? Exactly. Um, so a lot of different options out of these kind of quick actions, right? right? Yeah, you have, you have Kimani right there. He started to cut. Uh -huh. I mean, on the three point, I could have hit him right there, boom. So, you know, like you said, an NBA player, he might sit right there in that corner and knock down three. Joe Harris. Yeah, exactly. Boom. Joe Cash. Harris. You got somebody like, um, you got DeAndre Jordan, he'll roll. Yeah, right. yeah. If we're talking Nets, that's, yep. a, that's a dunk. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a lot of reasons I could have made that there for sure. So, you're looking forward to that NBA style, up and yeah. down, space floor? I mean, it's going to be exciting for sure. Yeah, no question. And so, just to go through some other some other reads here as well. All right, so Rhode Island early in the year to show kind of some of your progress. All right, so you're going to come off left. Um, what, what do you see here? What are your options as you come off? So, uh, Tayshawn Terry's right here in the corner, of course. So, just that's keeping, the one. keeping your head up, he's right there in the corner. So, so as you come off, as you see those two guys are kind of confused, right? Um, then you, you think you can make that skip? 100%, yeah. Left hand, get it there, right there. Yeah. So, Tayshaun, I'm sorry. That should be a three <laughs> No, but that's what this is about, right? Exactly. Looking back at it, seeing, seeing what you see now. Yeah. Um, and again, similar situation here against UCLA, right? Okay, so you come off. They're kind of confused because you draw so much attention, right? Like, yeah. you can score the ball at such a high level. Um, that, you know, oftentimes they're going to load up against you, right? Yeah, exactly. What, what do you see on this one? Probably a foul. Um, yeah, Let's another, call that. Another play where I just need to slow down um, and see the floor. But this is kind of the Lou Will. You feel him? You feel him yeah, kinda... 100%. Yeah, I was, I was kind of sick when I got up after this play. I mean, you know, of course, when you, when you go for the foul and you don't get it, it looks insane, but... I think he was he, he was grabbing you a little bit here, yeah. so I'll, I'll give you that one. There we go. But Trey Young is really good at that. Um, Lou Will, a lot of guys drawing these fouls. And I think this side ball, ball screen, really impressive. Just these type of reads, this type of patience when we talk about that, right? So here's on the road against Arizona. Uh, what do you see in this one? So high ball screen, he sprints into it. You reject it. And yeah. Just, yeah, just see Jay House be aggressive. Don't uh, I hit him, I fill him off. And then Jay House is right there, good shooter. Knock him down, Jay. And you're so physical with the ball, right? I mean, you right. can see it's almost like you're shedding, shedding tackles. Yeah, exactly. And so, all right, we're going to get into the defense too, right? So, first one against Stanford. Ice, you have to ice it. So, I should make him use the screen. This is, a, this is I mean, this is just, uh, just you know, known the defense. Uh, our coach is pretty standard. So, if he's yelling out ice, then you're icing it to the side. Yeah. That, but if he's not, then you're forcing him into the screen. Is you, that what you're saying? You have, you have to make him use the screen. You don't want to just give him that. I gave him the whole lane to the basket. Of course, that's just being lazy. Uh, make him use the screen. So if you have this back, you're sitting down, you're forcing him into the screen. Yeah, I'm going to sit on his left hip and yep. make him use that screen. And we can either get a switch or I can get through it. And it just makes it uh, much simpler to keep him in the middle of the floor. So this next clip against Villanova, this is like a clinic right here. All right, so what, what's what's your goal here? So you're picking up 94. Yeah, I mean, man, we're, we're down by 13. Uh, yep. Just pressure, 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 pressure. Make the guards feel you. That's all it is. You know, follow him everywhere he goes. Yeah, active feet, active hands. And then it does the last one here against Rhode Island. Um, just ball pressure, right? Yeah. First game of the year, man. I was excited, man. I wanted, Fired to, up. I wanted to compete. So, you know, I think I, I did a pretty good job of, you know, just making plays in defensive end. Can you tell, like, when a guy is sped up and that you're just kind of getting to him a little bit? Oh, yeah. It's when he can't get to his moves. You know, he's uncomfortable. He can't put the ball between his legs. He can't cross over it. He looks spastic. Uh, you're losing the ball, of course. Yeah. You know, that's when you know you got him. Blood in the water, right? Yeah, exactly. And then, so kind of to end it here, some of the off-ball stuff, right? Yeah. Um, so you're against Oregon, good player, Chris Duarte. T take me through this one. Yeah, just happy to uh, respect Chris Duarte uh, a lot more in this play, staying tight to him. Of course, he's coming off of a screen right here, so if I could get an arm in front of him so I can squeeze through and not be so tall, uh, kind of have an idea of where he is, but you got to respect that guy. He's a great player, very fundamental. Like, this is textbook right here. It's a great shot. Yeah, and then you try to communicate the switch, maybe, right? Um, but he's able to get through, knocks it down. You do a good job running off the line, too, right? Yeah. Um, but this play right here, like plays like this, really impressive, okay? So this is just instinctual and, and effort, like these crackdown type of plays for the steal. Uh, what, what do you see on this one against yeah. Arizona? Coloco's big, so you just got to help the helper. Um, yep. Boom, Ruby Martin gets screened. He picks up. Uh, kind of dies out right here, but Jay Graham steps up, and I have to crack down and make a play. You know, I didn't get the steal, but I got a hand on it, which allowed Zoverse to get it. Yes, that's perfect right there. And then, and then this last one here, just to end it, um, the awareness, the activity, uh, rotating from the weak side, I think this led to a bucket too. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, what yeah. do you remember about this This one? is one of my favorite plays, man. We got the block. <laughs> got the block. Uh, so what's your role when you're in this situation? Then you're, you're the weak side guy, 
and you're at the rim, right? Yeah, so I mean, the NBA is like, it's it's elbows and blocks, correct? Yes. So being able to be on that elbow, make the read, uh, I step here, I mean, he gets to the paint, and then, yeah, just make a play, man. Be athletic, be gifted. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, I guess I'll leave you with this. So there are all these players who, who want to make it all over the world, right? Um, a lot of guys who, you know, some were as highly ranked as you, and, and, and some who maybe come from Europe or Africa, or then there's all these guys in the NBA who they don't want to lose their job, right? Exactly. Um, so why do you think it is that NBA teams should should bet on Josh Christopher, and you can be, you know, one of these steals of the draft who come in and isn't just like a roster guy, but has a long, really successful NBA career? Oh, because I'm going to come in the first day, and I'm going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come in, and I'm going to work. Um, I'll be a rookie, of course, so... I won't be one of those guys who are getting paid that much money, but right. I think uh, hopefully my team will be able to respect me enough because I'll be in the gym with countless hours just trying to get better, watching my film, I ask questions. Um, I think it was a plan of mine to ask my coach, like, hey coach, how do you feel if you say something and maybe I disagree with it, am I allowed to address you or something like that? Or, you know, just being able to communicate with my teams, you know, just have fun. I want to win ball games, you know. it's uh, Watching the playoffs right now, it's a fun time, you know, the fans are back out, so. Just to be able to be on a court with a winning team would be amazing. Awesome. Well, thank you, Josh. I appreciate you taking the time, man. It's been cool to watch your growth since those early USA basketball days sure. and watching you a little bit out here in, in high school and then at Arizona State. So sure. I appreciate sure. you taking the time, man. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.